Hello, welcome to another topic. Today we're going to be talking about switch statements. Switch statements are not often used these days because you can do anything, anything you can do with a switch statement, you can also do with an if else statement. So, you know, it, it's often gone over in class or in, in a course. Uh, just because it exists in the language, but uh, most people prefer to use if-else statements. But um, just for the sake of completeness, I'm going to teach you about switch statements. And I've already written it out, so here it is. Um, it's, I created a variable called score, and you put the parameter in, score, to the switch statement and there are certain cases okay so the case in in the case of it being 10 okay that's bad and you break and that that when you break that goes to the end and it will say score is score I should probably put a space here <laughs> but anyway, um, it, it basically, oh no, there's an inline up there, so the space was necessary, but um, you can, we'll see what happens. So this should say bad, score is 10. Okay. Okay, score is 20. 30. Good, score is 30. Great, score is 40. Amazing the score is 50. Now, if we put something invalid here, like say one, which is not a case, it can only be 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50, then it will go to the default, which is no score. No score, score is one. So, this could be done as an if-else statement, and it's a switch statement, and hopefully now you understand what switch statements do, and hopefully you understand that break makes you go to the end of the line here, at the end of the switch. Okay, thank you for watching.